and um, we actually ended up uh, winning it. So uh, it was a fun day. Uh, I, thanks to everyone who came out for it. Uh, it was a super fun race. Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to the video. Uh, so before we jump into today's video, I would just like to say I hope you enjoyed the last video I posted for you guys about the uh, Fudgical Week 1 recap. Uh, that was a really fun video to, for, for me to make for you guys uh, because I got to tell you about the Fudgical, uh, about how this race is amazing, and um, how it's freezing all the time. Uh, yeah, so um, it was uh, really exciting. Uh, the results uh, came with my first Fudgical win, so it was kind of uh, it was pretty exciting for that. And, uh, yeah, um, as I said, uh, there was a disclaimer in the, uh, recap, uh, if, in the last, in that video, if you didn't realize, uh, you can still sign up for the Fudgical, you just, unless you ran it, um, during the, uh, day of that recap, um, or during the day I, uh, that was the first week, so, unless you rent all of them, you won't get the shirt, but you can still sign up and run, uh, six of them. So, uh, yeah, Tewksbury Memorial, Tewksbury Memorial High School, um, yeah, 8 a.m. I'll see you guys there. Uh, yeah, guys, so that's probably all I had to say for this part of the intro, and now let's uh, jump right into the topic for today's video. Uh, so in today's video, I know it's kind of a late um, topic to be talking about, but uh, I'm going to give you guys an insight on my New Year's uh, goals for 2022. Uh, so these goals are going to be uh, defending some championships, uh, some time goals, um, Winning a, uh, winning a few championships, and uh, so many more. I'm uh, making some new friends. Uh, yeah, YouTubing goals. Uh, I'm only going to tell you about five of them. Uh, but yeah, so some of them will be in categories. Some of them will be um, just by themselves. And yeah, I think we'll have a lot of fun with it. Uh, yeah, guys, so that's probably all I have to say for this intro of the video. And now let's jump right into our first topic of the video, uh, the Bay State Relay Defense. Alright guys, in this first block of the video, as I told you in the uh, intro, the last block, uh, we're going to be talking about uh, the Bay State Relay Defense. Uh, me and my dad's attempt to defend our Bay State uh, Half Marathon Relay title. Uh, so this year in 2021, I did make a video about it. Uh, by the way, I will link all the... Um, if I made a video on this topic, I will link it down in the description. Uh, but yeah, so I made a video on this. Again, link down in the description if you guys haven't watched it yet. Um, it was called the Bay State Relay Recap, I think. Uh, I can't quite remember, but, uh, I made this video and, uh, I talked about, uh, me and my dad had actually won the Bay State Half Marathon Relay, so each of us ran six and a half miles, and, um, we actually ended up, uh, winning it. So, uh, it was a fun day, uh, I, thanks to everyone who came out for it, uh, it was a super fun race. And, um, we were, we were hope, we're hoping that this year, uh, in October, we, uh, in October, we can defend uh, our title again. Uh, so this is a very hard title to obtain. Um, we are trying to go for the course record. Again, that uh, is a side note. Again, obviously, you always want to win the race before you talk about time. But uh, we are thinking about going for the Bay State Relay course record, which is uh, just about uh, 115 on the dot. It's like 115.06 or 115.07 or something. Uh, but yeah, so that, um, we really want to get that course record, but once again, uh, the important part is defending the title, having fun, and, um, yeah, getting to go and race, uh, a 10k, or a little over that, I should say. Um, so yeah, goal for this year for Bay State, defend the title, and hopefully, maybe, break the course record. Uh, yeah, guys, so that's probably all I have to say for this first block of the video. And now let's move on to our second block of the video, my sub-17 minute 5K goal. All right, guys, in the second block of the video, we're going to be talking about uh, my sub-17 5K goal. Uh, so I did not specify for you guys in the last block that this uh, is on the track. I have a different goal uh, that, I want, uh, that I want to uh, set on the road to the 5K. But uh, today we're just going to talk about the track because that's where I mainly race the 5K. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to talk about the track goal. Uh, so this year, um, last year, I almost got sub-17 in the 5K on the track. Uh, I had run 17.01 uh, at the Twilight 5K. And uh, yeah, uh, the track was Twilight 5K. Uh, I did not make a video for you guys about that. Uh, but um, I could if you really if you wanted me to. Uh, but yeah, so um, in that race, I ran just barely over 17, like 17.01 or 17.02, I think. Um, 
Uh, but yeah, so I do want to uh, try to break 17 on the track this year, uh, just because that's a pretty um, impressive uh, goal for me, considering that I have never broken 17 on the track before. Uh, I have broken 1710. Uh, once again, I ran 1701 or two uh, on the track last year. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, so yeah, that's uh, probably all that I have to say for that. Uh, so this year's goal for the seven uh, for the track uh, in the 5K, break 17, hopefully. Uh, yeah, guys, so that's probably all I have to say for this second block of the video, and now let's go on to our third block of the video, um, my sub five, uh, mile goal on the track. Alright, guys, in this third block of the video, we are going to be talking about, um, my goal of trying to break five minutes in the mile. So, uh, as I just, uh, I, I said it kind of fast in the last block, uh, I did not mean, uh, sub five mile sub five miles i meant uh run under five minutes in the mile so uh just for you who didn't catch that um i almost got confused i actually got confused myself with that uh so if you guys didn't catch that there's the clarification we're all good uh so i want to run sub five in the mile because this is a pretty monumental goal um especially for me because i've never run sub five ten in the mile um so it'd be pretty i'd be really i'd be pretty happy to uh Run sub 510, but um, also I really want to uh, run sub 5 because that's been my goal. I did want to get that goal in 2021, but uh, it did not happen. I got uh, a 511, uh, but I'm hoping, hopefully, in 2022 that uh, I can build up some of my speed and um, do a little more speed work and tempo work and uh, hopefully, maybe, um, break 5 in the mile. Uh, so yeah, objective in the mile this year, hopefully break five. Uh, yeah, guys, so that's probably going to do it up for this third block of the video. And now let's move on to our fourth block of the video, uh, the Junior Olympic block. All right, guys, in this fourth block of the video, we're going to be talking about my Junior Olympic goals. Uh, so I have about four Junior Olympic goals on my goals list for this year. Um, but I narrowed it down to one, um, like, combination, so I combined all the four goals into one block, so it wouldn't be quite as long, but, uh, yeah, so that's, um, probably all I have to say for that, and, uh, let's get straight to them. Uh, so my first goal is, uh, I would like to run, um, uh, sub 935 in the 3K on the track. Um, this would actually, if I ran this at Junior Olympics on, uh, in Sacramento next year, uh, sub 35 would actually get me, um, the Junior Olympic record. So that's kind of why I've been, uh, I want to put my mind to try to run, um, nine, sub 935. Uh, another goal of mine for Junior Olympics is I want to run, uh, sub 945. Um, actually, yeah, sub 50, I would say sub 950 probably, uh, for the 3K. Um, if I do that, uh, that's not going to get me um, any Junior Olympic records or anything, but uh, I've never run sub 950 in the 5K, in the 3K officially, uh, so I'd be uh, thrilled if I could run sub 950 in the 3K. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can accomplish those two goals of running sub 935 on the track and sub 950 uh, on the cross-country course. Uh, another goal of mine is uh, I want to get uh, All-American status um, in all indoor, outdoor, and cross country. Uh, once again, this goal is very hard because in indoor, only the top six get all American, outdoor, only the top eight, and in cross country, only the top 25. Uh, but in indoor, you only race about eight kids, and outdoor, you only race about 45 kids, and in cross country, you race about 200 kids or 300 kids. So, uh, it's very hard to get all American status at Junior Olympics. Uh, but that is one of my goals for this year, and I um, really am hoping I can accomplish it. And uh, just a side goal, I mean, this is like, I would love to accomplish this, but it's going to be super, super hard. Um, I would love to, um, again, super, super hard. I don't know if I'm going to do it. Uh, but I would love to win all uh, the national events this year, indoor, outdoor, and cross country. Um, this is not easy because... There's so many good kids, and there's so many new kids that come from age bracket, new, uh, the younger age brackets every year. There's, uh, good kids that move up every year. So you never know what's gonna happen because you don't know what the kids are training like. You don't know what the kids, how old people are sometimes. 
Uh, they don't do a great job. Uh, we don't, you don't see that a lot. Uh, so it is very hard. But uh, yes, I would hope to accomplish that goal and uh, maybe, possibly. Uh, I really hope so, guys. Uh, yeah, guys, so that's probably going to do that for our third block of the video. And now let's move on to our uh, fourth block of the video. Um, um, the Mayor's Cup uh, block. Alright guys, in this fifth block of the video, we're going to be talking about uh, my goals for Mayor's Cup uh, next this year. Uh, so, sorry about la uh, the last block at the end of it when I told you uh, we were moving on to the fourth block. Um, I did mean the fifth block, so I just got a little tongue-tied there, uh, so that's just clarification right there. Um, the fourth block is the last block, so this is the fifth and final block. Uh, but yeah, so my goal for Mayor's Cup this year is uh, I have won it in... Now, as you guys told you, uh, 2020, and uh, I somehow uh, somewhere defended that title in 2021. So uh, I am really hoping that I could uh, once again win it again in 2022. Uh, again, like Junior Olympics, this title is super hard to get because you have kids from all over who come to compete in this event. And uh, it's not quite as hard as Junior Olympics, but it's just a step down, I would say. Uh, so it's one of those meets that it's like, it's still super hard to get a medal. Or, uh, and yeah, any award. Um, Wayland, Mayor's Cup, um, Nashua, and, um, regionals. And, na and, uh, nationals. Those are probably the five hardest events to get medals in for me this season. And, uh, I was lucky enough, uh, to get, um, medals in, uh, all of them. So that's, that was pretty exciting. Uh, but yeah, back to Mayor's Cup. So I am really hoping to uh, get a third title and uh, create a three-peat for Mayor's Cup. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what happens uh, this country season and with Mayor's Cup. Uh, yeah, guys, that's probably going to do it up for this fifth block of the video. And that's probably going to wrap it up for our video today. Alright guys, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed listening to me talk about um, my goals for next year, the five topics. If you guys want to hear any other goals I have, uh, shoot me a comment down in the live chat. Um, you can ask me any question, um, and I will answer it for you. You can ask me, uh, Michael, what is uh, another goal that you have? I can get uh, that to you. So uh, anything you want to ask me down in the live chat, open for everything. Um, all good. Uh, so message me down there if you have any questions. Um, once again, if I had a video on one of these topics, I will link all those videos down in the description. So any of you who would like to watch these videos on these topics, uh, I will make sure to link those down there. Uh, yeah, guys, so that's probably all I have to say for this video. Stick around for today's quote, uh, like always. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, keep running and peace out, guys.